hands together for Brennan Weeks, everyone. All right, hi guys, how you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. Out here on a Sunday, and you got kids? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get away. Yeah, yeah. They're they're asleep now, right? They're asleep. No, they're older. All right, this is way too long. I didn't just bid this. <laughs> I don't have any kids material prepared. Sorry. Uh, uh, but uh, let's see. Is anybody else just spiraling? Yeah. 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 It's a little much right now. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Ooh. Just uh, take a second. Just to. Uh, I gotta stop smoking with my neighbor. That's my problem. That's my problem. This 20 year old kid, he just wants to bring two, like, fucking brand name joints, right? Those are dangerous as hell. You're like, what is this? He's like, the numbers are off the charts. And I'm like, because he calls me pussy and I feel insecure about that. <laughs> it's a 20 year old, like, little fucking asshole. I can hang, bro. And then I'm in my car, like, 20 minutes ago, being like, I shouldn't be here. But, <laughs> Here we are. Okay. Um, all right, I'll bring a little dip and try to get this out. Uh, so the beginning of January 2022, first week, I got divorced. Yeah, I lost my dream job. I got my car towed. Aww. Happy New Year. <laughs> I got the new year. And uh, I'm still getting over it. Still getting over it. Uh, to be able to make a better version of myself, I joined a men's support group. Tried to do that, right? And uh, partying with divorce dudes is a double-edged sword, let me tell you. Because we fucking rage, man. <laughs> and by rage, he holds me when I'm crying when he's crying. <laughs> We're smoking bowl, it's 5 a.m., he did too much coke, we can't sit still, right? <laughs> That's what being divorced is like. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. Tried, uh, tried dating. <laughs> I've come out as a trisexual. All right, come out as a trisexual. Oh, I'll give it a shot. What are you into? I'm lonely, right? <laughs> uh, maybe this is an overshare. See how you guys take it. Uh, I dated a fa pretty famous actress, pretty famous actress for a little bit, uh, and she was into uh, sniffing my ass. <laughs> sniffing my ass. And a lot of you are like, oh, that's absolutely disgusting. I thought it was endearing. Okay. Because <laughs> she's taking me at my worst. All right. If you're, if you're at that point, there's nothing closer. Uh, but obviously, that gets a little much and a little weird and a little possessive. And I just didn't like the nicknames that you get. Okay. 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 I don't have to spell it out for you. It's gross. It's gross. Uh, so my dad, my dad was a, uh, Broadway star. My dad was on Broadway. Uh, he's in movies, he's in films, uh, he's in black, black exploitation movies. Uh, obviously he married a white woman. Okay. <laughs> We're right here. Uh, he was in films such as Shaft, uh, Truck Turner, and, uh, Black Belt Jones, which is like a black kung fu movie. So growing up was hard, because if I didn't do my homework, he'd be like, Now listen here, Drive Turkey! And then... <laughs> well, my ass to a Curtis Mayfield soundtrack. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever have your Christmas toys be used against you in a beating? <laughs> my dad couldn't find shit except my Hot Wheels tracks. He came over at me looking like a glow-in-the-dark Darth Vader. <laughs> And what sucks, he's light-skinned, so he kind of looks like James Earl Jones. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, I got a special talent. I got a special talent because my father was a tap dancer, and uh, my mother talks too much. Uh, I got. I picked up beatboxing. Right? I picked up beatboxing. So it's like, <laughs> right, that kind of shit. And uh, I learned kind of like on a curve. Uh, um, because beatboxing, you guys are like, oh, that's a really quirky talent. No, there's people that compete in, like, other countries for this shit, right? There's, like, a whole level of things. I used to do it in, like, 2007 as, like, a hobby. 
and then the next thing you know, I'm in like Germany at like a competition that I shouldn't be at. I got si I got 16th in the world in 2007. It was out of 45 people. Let's slow down. It wasn't, it there's not a lot of people there. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I do a couple genres. A couple of my favorite genres is like house music, like. Right? You start, you start there. I'm not going to give it all away. Um, the next one is dubstep. Dubstep's really fun, right? Which is basically some guy slamming his face in a keyboard. Where it's like. And you're like oh. Dubstep always starts the same. It's like. And there's the big breakdown. It was like. Something satanic, and you're like, why do we have to put? <laughs> why do we have to put that in there? Like, music industry subliminal messaging. It's like, okay, nice. uh, the last one is uh, drum and bass music, of course. Yeah. And then the American version, which is always watered down. Like, <laughs> and I found that um, a lot of these drum and bass and electronic artists uh, steal from black musicians. Now I remember Uncle Luke. Don't stop, pop that pussy, let me see you do the round. Get it, get it. All right, thanks, guys.